Channel, it's your Serbian Nate. If you don't know, honey, you need to know. I got some. If you don't know, now you know. Thank you so much for watching and joining me in today's video. So, in today's video, basically, I'll be showing y'all how I achieved this look with my curly unit from Maven.com. The hair is from Maven, however, I made my own closure wig, I installed it for you guys. I show all of my tips and tricks. So, if you want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. Hi, my name is Jatera Brown, and I'm here to set it off. Okay, I just had to, like, clam myself real quick before y'all did, because, like, y'all can't do that when I can't, okay? Alright, so y'all know what we're here for. We're here to slay a wig. So, today I'll be installing a closure wig that I did myself. She, yes, her name is her name is Lucy. She's a she. She's a female. I name all my wigs, but she is a closure wig with a side part. Hello, um, Lucy right now is a little big and curly and bushy, but we want we gonna get that together. So Lucy's hair is from Maven.com. I believe this is two and a half bundles and a closure, all Brazilian. Deep wave. Hello, Brazilian deep wave. Um, I do not remember the inches, but it doesn't matter because I cut her into this cute layer type of shindig. I'm gonna show y'all everything y'all need to lay your closure wig. So let's just get started. So first, what I like to do is get a wig cap. I got these from Amazon.com. They are already colored or tinted as you can see this color is good for masking complexion hello i'm a brown girl but you know get the color that fits your skin tone and these came in two in a pack and i believe it was 16 in that big pack so girl do the math it's a lot of caps for it it was like probably like five to six dollars before i put on the cap i like to get a oil of some kind these are my two current favorites um i like this one just because of the applicator I like to put this in my braids so my hair can be nice and moisturized throughout my install. Now, in order to make sure our cap stays on all day and our hair is out of the way, I like to get the Got To Be Ultra Glued in the Invisible Gel. So that is the black bottle. And I just put a little bit on my edges. And we're just going to slick these babies back because they really be in the way, buddy. Girl. You don't need too much though, just wanna get them out the way. We not styling the baby hairs, we just pushing them back. And I'm gonna get a brush, and I'm just going to simply slick them back. Y'all, okay, so a little story time. I cut my edges right here. <laughs> Terrible. I cut my edges, not paying attention. I was looking at my phone while I was doing my hair because a random number had called me so I looked at it like who was this and I got distracted I really did and I was cutting off the cap but I cut the cap that also had some of my hair on it and you can just see it. it's just so noticeable and so ugly it look like I've been it look like I've been burned let me see if I can like <laughs> cause that's terrible Anyways, now that our baby hair is out of the way, I'm going to get the cap and I'm going to put it right on. Hmm. You want to make sure you pull it down far enough. And I just like tuck my cornrows up. Um, I probably wouldn't do this if I had straight hair because my hair is thick. But because I have curly hair, you really don't notice. So yeah. So now this is what we looking like. I pull it completely over my ears. You won't see what I do in a second on how I get that situated. But yeah, so we got the cap on. Hello. Now it's time to mold this baby down. Okay. I'm gonna use the got to be free spray, blasting free spray, and we're gonna spray this only on the area where our closure is needed, and then we're gonna cut the excess completely off. So like from here. 
ಹೆಂಗ ಬರ And then I just spray backwards because I want to cut all this off. So once you have your freeze spray on, you can either wait until it dries or you can go ahead and get your blow dryer. I don't got patience, so I'm going to get my blow dryer. And I'm just going to blow dry this on medium until it's completely dry. So now that she's all dry, we're going to take some sharp scissors. Make sure you have sharp scissors. These are like eyebrow cutting scissors or something. I don't know, but they're super sharp. And what you're going to do is cut off all of this excess cap. Um, also, since I put it over my ears, I'm just going to cut two little holes on my ears and stick my ears through. I think this is called the stalking dot method. Girl, I don't know. But anyways, this is what I do, okay? Okay, so now that you got your cap on and you got as close to your hairline as possible, this is what we should be looking like. So now we're going to get our glue. I'm going to be using Ghost Bond glue. I got mine from Amazon for like, I don't know how much. I'm probably going to have to go back and check. But everything with all of the prices and the names and maybe the links will be down in the description box below. But... Yeah, we're going to take our ghost bond glue. You want to make sure that you have some type of tool to like evenly distribute the glue. So I'm going to use the back of my red tail comb. I'm using a mirror so I can see everything I'm doing. So just bear with me, okay? As you can see, this side is already starting to dry a little bit. Um, from my experience, I like when I let this air dry better than when I blow dry it just because it evenly dries at the same time in my opinion. So I'm just going to sit here until this dry while I look like an egghead. And yeah, once this dries, I'm going to do another layer and then we're going to apply our wig. So now we are pretty much dry. Before you apply your wig, you want to make sure that all of your baby hairs are kind of pushed back so the hairs won't get wet. Um, this wig has three clips in it, two on the side and one in the back. So I apply my wig with the back of the wig first and then I pull it forward. Once you press it down, you want to get something clean to just press the lace into the cap. And as you're pressing it down, you want to get your blow dryer again. And I like to use cool to make sure it's all super duper dry. So 
So now that she's glued, I'm going to split her in half. And we're going to tame these curls, okay? Because this hair is too big for my liking. And I'm going to get my dimming brush and just brush through the curls. Let's get a close up on these curls, honey, because they're popping, they're popping. Don't worry, we're gonna lay the edges soon. But yes, and this wig ain't going nowhere, honey, okay? Like I'm tugging, tugging, like she's not going anywhere. So now it's time to lay the edges. I'm gonna go back to the got to be invisible styling gel. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the baby hairs. You really don't need too much, especially if you're going for like a natural look, which is what I usually go for. And I get my edge brush and I go to tame. So after I get my edges to look a little decent, I go back into the free spray and I just spray on my edges just because it makes it hold. Um, usually with my natural hair, I would put a scarf on it, but to me, when I'm doing wigs or weaves, the scarf just puts indentions in my hair and in my forehead and, you know, we having my baby hairs laid like I want them to. So, um... Yeah, after my hair looks like this, I just kind of like play with it so we can get a little bit bigger. But yeah, that's pretty much all I do to achieve this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you learned anything or you just like watching the kid, you know, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see me do next. Please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, girl. Like, stop playing with me. Like, subscribe to my channel. Check out the description box for all the info on everything that I used. And yeah, without further ado, that wraps up this video. Bye, guys.